Alright, what's up guys? Our welcome to another awesome uh, Christmas vacation uh, Taekwondo class. I got one for me and there's going to be another one for Mr. Crosley over the break. That way you guys uh, don't get bored. Uh, that way, in case you guys miss us, we will be here to teach you some cool things, keep you on track over the holidays. So, let's get rolling. Face me. Can I bow? Academy tenants begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect. Sir? And can I bow? Awesome. Getting our chumbi stance. And let's get 10 jumping jacks. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then feet as wide as shoulders. Neck rotations there. And other way. Good. Arm circles forward. Backwards. Cross the body. I'm hearing a lot of things pop. <laughs> and up and down. Good. Reaching over the body side to side. Good. Depending on when you're watching this, again, I hope you guys had. Uh, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that. Twist side to side. Good, legs straight, reaching down low, side to side. Again, hopefully you guys had some good old family time, had some fun, or you just were relaxing. That can be fun as well. And then hands on the floor, hip side to side, Spider-Man stretch, you know. You might want to see that movie. I don't know. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna go and hop up here. So for our first kind of warm up here, uh, I have a bag. You don't have to have a bag, but you know. So we're here. We're just gonna be working on our balance for our kicks. Okay. So I'm here. I'm in my fighting stance. I'm gonna lift up. I'm gonna hold my leg for three seconds. So one, two, three. Then I do my front kick, pull it back. One, two, three. All right, I can do that with front kicks. I can do it with side kicks. I can do it with any kick I want. I'll leave it up to you guys. We're just working on our balance while we're also working on our technique. All right, and let's do it. All right, I'm gonna do side kick this time. So one, two, three. Take, pull back. One, two, three. Round kick. One two, three, kick, one, two, oh goodness, <laughs> ah, do that one again, one, two, three, there we go, all right, other side, if you want, you don't have to though, there we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, side kick, one, two, three, one, two, Three, and last one here. I did not hold it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome. And go relax. And then have a seat. Seated ankle stretch. Good. And roll your toes back. Seated toe stretch. Good. So, one of the things that I've been uh, talking with these last few classes here as I film this is you know just kind of working on stuff and also uh, videotaping yourself over the holidays if you can uh, just kind of see yourself the way some of the instructors kind of see your moves and your things that way you get a better understanding of like oh my hands are dropping here this is yeah I need to work on this go down for the cobra stretch so again those are always really good um, methods of just getting a little bit better at our skills, being able to see ourselves um, in a different light so we can see what we need to work on. And push the meter back up, cat back. Good, down for the back bow, feet off the ground. I got a higher production value in this, this video. Alright, <laughs> going roll around. And going to get five bent leg, five straight leg back. Let's go. One, two, 
three, four, five. If I have a really big budget, I can make myself look like Sonic back there, but I do not, so. Two, three, four, and five. Roll back. All right, we're reaching down low, trying to grab the toes now. Again, always trying to get your chest down low first, then your hands, then your head. You want to try to keep your back straight so that way you're getting your best stretch. And you're not just hunching over. Good. All right, a couple more seconds here. Awesome. Go and keep one of those legs straight. Bend one behind you. Reaching down low. And switch sides. Awesome. From there, you're going to take one leg, keep that leg straight, other leg over top, spine will twist. And switch sides. And then lay down on your back, put one knee in your chest for five or six seconds. Try to have your toes pull back with the front kick. It's a little bit of a better stretch there. And then from there, sit up. Legs as wide as you can into a V. Hands behind your head. 10 jolly side to side stretches. Go. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, 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 seven, six, eight, six, nine, six, ten, six. Then legs a little bit wider, reaching down low down the middle there. Good. And then butterfly stretch. All right, and then from there, we're going to hop up and get 10 more jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so starting off with some sparring stuff. So back to my handy dandy bag. If you don't have a bag, again, partner will work or if you just want to use the air you may do so don't use a wall don't punch walls so we're here all right so hands up in my fighting stance again having your favorite leg in front uh, again getting really good on one side first before we start you know working on both sides but again if you want to work on both sides that's up to you guys so one leg in front hands up here working on just kind of our hands a little bit okay when we spar want to work on both legs and hands because we never know what the situation is going to call for for a self-defense and that might be close range here i might have the space to kick uh whatever the case might be so hands here close to my bag or target or just kind of in the air but working a front arm jab jab all right so you can just jab is just a front arm punch so i'm going punch punch taking my back arm punch Okay, nice simple combo. The main thing, again, the moves themselves aren't tricky. It's just making sure that we're doing it nice and smooth, controlled, and still in a great stance, okay? So, I wanna be here, keeping one hand by my, um, in front of me at all times. So I'm going one, two, then switch, okay? This switch is where people tend to mess up, okay? Is I pull this arm back, and it drops to here. So now my whole head is exposed because this hand's punching and this hand is down, okay? Or if I switch sides here, I don't want to be here, okay? So if I'm here, one, two, pull it back, back to my guard, okay? Not pulling it back and dropping it here. So that'd be more form style. And again, that's good for forms, just not sparring or self-defense. So again, here, one jab, jab, punch on your own and go for it. So. 
it down. Punch, if you are hitting something, again, just start off nice and light, uh, especially if you don't have bad gloves or gloves on at all, and then just kind of work up, putting more power behind it as you feel comfortable. Nice, good rhythm. Not trying to go too fast, but trying to stay consistent. If you want to switch sides, you can. Again, I recommend using that favorite side though. Good. And time. So now, adding on to that combo, okay? Because when we spar, most of the time we do punches, and that's kind of all the extent of our hand technique knowledge, all right? Not necessarily knowledge, but just what we apply in sparring. So, working here, okay, still doing jab, jab, punch, but now kind of being creative with it. So doing other hand techniques that you would like to do, I'll give you guys a couple of options. So, I got jab, jab, punch, all right, very easy one that kind of flows real well is a hook punch. So I'm coming in here, as I do this, my elbow's driving behind my wrist. I'm not doing big swing like this, all right? Keeping it nice and controlled. So I could go jab, jab, punch, hook. I can also have chops here. I have ridge hands, which are just chops the other way, hitting with my thumb side, thumb tucked in under like so. So I'm coming in, boom, hitting on that end. Then I have back fists, all right? I have upset punches. For real self-defense, I would have uppercuts and stuff like that. So if you want to work of those, just keep that in mind. That's more self-defense, not sparring. But I'm here going one, two, boom. I can go uppercut. Jane, if you're hitting something, don't slide your knuckles across it. Just kind of do it in the air. One, two. Nice small motion here. Not Mario style like that or Street Fighter. So again, whatever moves you want to do, just kind of being creative uh, with those moves. And go. Boom, boom. Come back, back fist. Boom. Okay, just do a couple moves and then reset back with that jab, jab, punch. And then add some more. Let's see here. seconds left here. Awesome. And time. Okay. So now, uh, taking a break from our hands here, working on the full combos. So, as we spar, the main thing um, you know, that I see people kind of mess up when it comes to sparring. Okay. One of the main things is there's a couple. But one of them is as I throw a combo, as I do a combo, is I'm not really thinking of when I spar, obviously my partner is you know, not trying to hurt me or anything, we're working as a team, but I have that in my mind when I throw my combo, and so I'm like, oh, they're not gonna you know, get me, or oh, I'm not gonna get hurt doing this, so then I throw the combo, okay? And so just being aware, when I throw a combo, if I'm just constantly going here, and then just kind of leaning over into my punches, or if I um, do a spin kick and I do it kind of real crazy like, and I you know, whip out like this, and I'm not controlling those motions, then I'm setting myself up to get counterattacked very easily, okay? My partner, whether they know it or not, may not be taking advantage of that, okay? And so I might not know when I'm sparring that particular person hey, I'm doing something I'm not supposed to or that's gonna you know, put me in a bad position. So just thinking, if I'm doing a combo, okay? I wanna be sideways, hands up, and be able to see my partner. Those are the main three things. So as I do this combo, which is a very basic combo here, again, I'm still sideways, my hands are still up, I can still see my partner. All right, if I do kind of a more fancy combo here, so I'm coming in, boom, boom. All right, again, still in my fighting stance, still have my hands up, still see my partner. If any of those three things at the end of a combo aren't there, 
then again, I'm just not in the best position I could be. So we're just gonna kind of spar the bag, spar the air, spar partner, whatever it is we wanna do for the next um, minute or so here. And as we do, just again, keep in mind, use those hands a little bit more if you don't already do so. Use your kicks, but think about, again, if I'm doing a combo, will this combo put me in a bad position? Or did I lose my balance that one time? Okay, then work on that, stuff like that. All right, and get my better side here, and go. So, again, uh, go ahead if you have a partner, go and face your partner. Give him a bow. For me, I'm just going to kick it. And it's going to go today. So, next thing, I'm going to use my other handy dandy helper here. We're going to work on some self defense. So, with self defense for this cycle, it is a tackle defense. So, first thing to know is a tackle. Okay, one, it's a very useful tool, you know, when it comes to kind of being more grapple and stuff like that. Because uh, again, when it's a real combat situation, real self-defense situation, you know, they're gonna grab. They're not gonna be like, oh, I can't grab, no grabsies. Uh, they're gonna do stuff like that. So, being good at stuff like that, even though it might be uncomfortable at times, if we're not used to it, again, it's a really good tool to have to where I can have control of the situation. Because I don't want to be in a situation that situation like that and then have all the control because then I know I don't have you know any good options there so we're here yeah okay, I have my back pretending that this is a person all right then what I want to do is again this is their leg it's a really big leg but all right, I'm coming down I'm leaning in okay or right, not leaning in I'm squatting down because uh, if I lean in like this then again my head's in a bad position I can get headlocked real easy. And if I'm trying to put any force behind this bag, all right, this is just awkward. So I'm here, I'm squatting down. My head's up, it's not close. All right, as close as I can, uh, as close as I need it. I'm trying to avoid getting as close as possible. But I'm here. One arm goes to where their belt would be, one arm goes behind where their leg would be. The closest leg, all right? I wanna go on the outside, right behind the knee, all right, if I go too high or too low, I just don't have as much of a kind of pull. All right, if I go on the inside, again, just awkward again, less of a kind of control there. So I'm going down, here, here, then pull the leg, push along the hip here, and follow through. Okay, the follow through is important. I can push and I can pull with just my arms. But again, the real kind of strength of this move and strength of most moves is using my whole body. So I'm one, two, stepping in a little bit, and then they go down. All right, and I can follow up with other things like getting on top if I need to control the situation or just take them down, get out of it. All right, whatever the situation requires. So again, one more time here, coming down, one, two. All right, then again, I have to push and pull at the same time. If I don't push and pull at the same time, Obviously, it's a bag, but again, if I was a person, it would take longer. And I don't want to take long when it comes to this move. Because I'm doing the move, I need to do it to protect myself, to protect other people, to get out of a bad situation. So I'm here, boom, 
and then again, I can follow up with different things. So, there we go. So again, if you have somebody at home to help kind of practice that, again, it's a lot easier with somebody else. Um, but again, if you have a partner, work on it at home, work on it over the holidays. Just be careful, make sure you have plenty of space and no tables, no thing breakable nearby in the nearby vicinity. All right, so the last thing here that I have for you guys is we're gonna work on our form real quick. So as we work on the form, again, some of you guys might know the form already and you kind of get it real quick. Some of you guys might take a little while. Whatever pace you're at, again, just go at your pace. And there's no need to rush and no need to you know, get frustrated because the more you get frustrated, then obviously it's gonna become harder to learn. So just taking your time with it, going slow. So I'm here, uh, feet out, right hand on your belt, left hand in front, like so, okay? Taking my left foot, that foot's gonna step forward. As I hug, left arm chops, okay? Take my right arm, switch arms, punch. Then I take my right hand, I hug, I step forward, chop, switch arms, punch. Okay. All right, let's do that one more time. I'm gonna face you guys so you can see uh, the kind of front perspective of us facing you guys. Here, hug. Step forward, chop, punch, again, left side, right side, then hug, step forward, right side, left side, okay? Going back to this way. After I do that second punch, so my right foot's in front, my left arm is punching, I'm gonna switch arms, high block, take my left hand, hammer fist, okay? Whichever arm I'm using, which should be my left, I'm gonna turn that direction while my other hand goes behind my ear. So as I turn, I get into my sitting stance, my right hand outside blocks, okay? So one more time from there. I just did my second chop punch, switch sides, high block, switch sides, hammer fist. Then right hand goes behind my ear, Turning towards my left, outside block. Okay? From there, now I'm going towards the back. So for me, I'm going towards the camera. You guys are going away from the screen that you're watching me on. So here, I'm stepping behind my left foot, left leg step side kick. So I step, side kick, land back into a front stance, right hand now, punch. Alright? And from there, I do my high blocks and I do kind of that whole sequence starting with the high blocks again. So I switch arms high block, switch arms hammer fist. Now I go towards my right, left hand behind my ear, turn outside block with the left, going back towards the front, right leg this time, step behind the side, land in the front stand, back arm, punch. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that is section one. If you are a warrior, white through green, that is all you have of the form. For everyone else, you have section two, some of you guys have section three. So, section two real quick. From that punch, all right, now I'm facing front. I step off and I face the right. So my right foot's in front, I'm in a right fighting stance. From there, my right hand hugs on top. I low block. That same hand hugs on the bottom, out of one block, front leg front kick, back leg front kick, unless you are a brown belt and above. If you're a brown belt and above, you're gonna jump, back leg front kick, so I'm here, jump, and trying my best to land on the other side. Now left side does the same exact thing. So I go low block, left arm hugs, out of one block, Front kick, jump, switch if you're bound and above. Otherwise, you would just do back leg land. For my fusion and impact, blue belts and above, land, hooking block towards the front. If you are not that, all right? So if you're a warrior blue belt uh, or pearl belt, then you would just stop there, do your front kick, go back to TV, or if you're a fusion impact, white through green. 
Okay? That's section one, section two. Section three, here, okay? My fusion impact boom purple. You guys take your front leg, pick up, round kick, round and red belts. You're doing hook, round kick that same way. So I'm going here, hook, round. And then my black belt's adding a round kick before the hook. So you're going round, hook, round. From here, round, round. Again, I like to do it where one's low and then I bring the other two up high, just makes it look fancy. Then everybody lands, shot, stepping back like I'm gonna defend from a tackle. So those of you who've done that in class, those of you who've done that in class, again, stepping back, pushing down, then my left hand is the same combo. So poking block, then whatever kicks you have, either round kick, that's other time as well. All right, hook, round, or round, hook round. Everybody lands, chop, step back, push down. Then for everybody, step up, shield block. You know, like I'm patting myself on the back, take a knee, right foot up, back arm punch, then black belts only, bringing my front knee down behind me, hands on the floor, look over my shoulder, left foot, side kick, keep turning, and punch. All right, yeah, so that is the form, all three pieces again. Feel free, all right, hopefully you do kind of go back through that. Uh, if you need to, just kind of watch it a couple times. Again, like I said, the pace that you're at, the pace that you get the form, is different for everybody. All right, some people have better forms there, uh, they're easier for them, some have harder forms. So again, if you feel frustrated with this one, that's okay. All right, just take a deep breath. And again, you'll get it, we'll help you out with that. So, go and face this way, guys, boom. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this class. All right, hopefully you got a, got a little bit of sweat in. I did a little bit. So making sure, again, if you haven't already or if it's not up yet, just keep an eye out for Mr. Crosley's uh, online class as well. Hopefully you'll go check that one out as well. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a holiday, guys. Bye, guys.